They're still juggling. They want you to know this because they feel like if they tell you the truth, after they butter you up on a trip or working with you to do something fun and building with you and creating something new with you where you can't grow, you can't get away, that once they ghost you again, you'll still be there. Hello Leo! Happy birthday to those Leos who are, you know, just celebrated a birthday and to all those you, all of those of you who will have a birthday coming up. Happy birthday! Happy solar return! Alright, so Leo, this is going to be a feelings report. I'm going to talk about how you feel about them. Think So think of a person who's on your mind. Let's talk about how you feel and then we're going to talk about how they feel and then we're going to just, you know, get some advice or, you know, synopsis or whatever. I'm going to try to keep it short, but I'm long-winded, guys, okay? So, my name is Vanessa Moon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everything you need to learn about me is in the description box below. Do not forget to like this video, okay, Leos? Let's get those likes up. Alright, so how does your person, or how do you feel about your person? How's Leo feeling right now? What's going on with you, Leo? What do you want to talk about? Clarity. So, you're getting some type of clarity about a situation here. Honesty, truth, intention. Okay, so you're getting clarity maybe on someone else's intentions, on your intentions, the energy that maybe was unknown to you before. Okay, one day, someday, and another time. So maybe there's something you were wondering about at, at some point in time, and you're getting, you're like, no, is there going to be a possibility one day? Maybe this is what you want from someone. Time. Okay, you've been waiting for this for a while. So maybe there's somebody in your life, and it's like, okay, time's up. Like, I need to know, I need clarity, or you know, the wait is over, or this needs to cycle back around, I mean, I need to see, you, maybe you keep cycling back around to something, and it's like, okay, I need clarity, because it feels like it's ongoing, it's just says infinity there, it's just an endless loop, okay, you have rejection, this could be somebody you rejected in the past, irrational fears, saying no, dismissal, this could just be for anybody going through this during Leo seasons, by the way, it doesn't have to be a Leo reading. Um, this could be, you know, your romance house, Leo. This could be your uh, your fifth house. Maybe your fifth house, Leo. Maybe your partnership is seventh house, Leo. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a Leo sun reading. But either way, those of you with Leo, some type of Leo energy going on here. You could have rejected this person in the past. You could have said no, or they could have said no time and time again, dismissed it. And you just want clarity. The feminine energy is here. So it could be the feminine doing this. But it's like maybe they're in your in your mind you feel like there's a deep knowing or telepathy or intuitive notion telling you there's something more there, okay? Your heart sings or reaches out to them. And you need clarity about whether or not they really want you or not. Like you could feel like, do they want me or do I want them? I rejected them and maybe they're back and I need to revisit this. Okay, I mean, Venus is retrograde in Leo right now. And in my opinion, I know a lot of people will not agree with this. Venus retrograde is the one that brings your exes back, okay? Screw Mercury retrograde. Re Mercury retrograde reviews whatever is about, whatever its sign is, it's in it at the time, right? And whatever that means for you personally. But it, overall, for everybody, Venus retrograde brings back exes or just un, you know, the unsaid, the, the unrequited stories in love. All right, so this is about unrequited love, all right? All right, so how do you feel about this person? So you have this one to reverse. King of Pentacles reverse could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn does not absolutely does not have to be could be someone who claims to be financially stable, but they're not really or they're greedy or they're possessive or they just didn't give as much as they could have given. And they're looking at a situation now like this could have been long term. Like I really maybe they didn't know they were weren't they weren't ready to settle down at the time and they felt like you were some that someone they should settle down with Leo or you could have thought this about them. And then literally it just didn't turn out to be that way because they weren't ready. They held their emotions back okay this is about somebody who was greedy held their emotions back didn't give what they know they could have given when you felt the connection was it was and should have been solid you, you could have felt like there was a lot of love there there was a lot of commonalities both of you were in your head but neither one of you said anything because you're both thinking about externals like maybe this person doesn't like my body maybe this person doesn't like you know what I have going on in my life maybe this person Oh, you know, I'm, I'm not supposed to date this type of person. This person is not the type I grew up with, you know, or, or was raised to think is attractive. Th that's Eight of Swords. Just imprisoning yourself in a connection. Maybe we're both too masculine or we're both too, we're both bosses. And it's like, so everybody held their, held back their opinions. Could be a water sign involved, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini. 
okay um and so no one took action wow look another maybe this person felt like too many people liked you straight up or maybe you thought they had too much attention or their attention was elsewhere more involved in their work more involved in their their um maybe they just didn't say what's on their mind that's what i'm getting with the king of swords like this person was stoic it's like you could tell they loved you you could tell they had emotion for you but this person did not say it they did not speak their truth and they maybe they kept everything all business yes that's what spirit is saying yes yes and but at the core you make this person so damn happy leo oh my god look you're in their core you're in their core but they stayed silent trapped and then think about you non-stop on a hamster wheel so what this is telling you right here somebody you feel this you could probably feel this scorpio um oh, i called you scorpio it could be scorpio you could probably feel this leo with the high priestess card but this is saying the challenge is you're feeling that this person still has something to say. They still want you. They're still holding back and they're coming back around again. And you're like, okay, it's only a matter of time before they say something or they, or are they going to do the same thing? This person could be in a commitment though. They could be married now, but you guys still have this hierophant high priestess connection. You guys to our divine union in 5d, you guys are, they chose wrong. Damn. Damn. But what I'm saying is King of Pentacles reverse. You have someone else in mind. You're not into this person. You think this person is too greedy or too selfish. Yeah. Because you have a two here. You have a choice. But you know secretly this person wants you. So, so Leo, you could have met this person who chose to get into a relationship with someone else who is not compatible with them. I'll just put it like that. They could be with somebody who's not mentally stimulating. They could have just got with someone for stability. They could have just got with someone... Um, this is the government, so maybe for a government, a green card, I don't know. Um, and it's saying this person could have got with them for legal reasons, right? Um, but meanwhile, they're into you, Leo. You're the one in their heart, and they're staying trapped in something. Trapped, trapped with their emotions, not speaking. So this person's coming back around this unrequited love. Why does Leo need to know this? Because the two of swords and the star, and the knight of coin so this person might come in with some type of work offer some type of practical offer some type of friendship offer to get you to participate in a situation that, so they could be around you on an everyday basis knight of pentacles because they've never stopped wishing for you there's something very healing you have healing light around you your high priestess energy is very healing leo they feel like you're very caring loving you don't you're non-judgmental um, you give them a lot of clarity um, in regards to you make them feel special. You don't even have to talk. They've, there's an unspoken connection here. And this person, they need, they feel like they need that energy. It helps them get out of this, it helps them not feel so trapped, helps them feel free, and also inspires their work. Yeah, there's that, there's that fourth king. Oh my god. This person could definitely be married because you're showing up as an emperor. All them kings. Um, this person could have left you behind for a more passionate new beginning somewhere else with someone else and then this person could have got pregnant or had a kid with these and started a family and they did not mean to or that was never the intention and they broke their own heart and this is what, how you feel about them you don't care you're like listen nine of cups I'm good on that why because my life changed for the better or changed drastically after that whatever i went through whatever dark side of the soul i went through i got through it all on my own and i came to a place of culmination on this situation that i deserve better more, something more stable anyway somebody that's willing to build with me in a different way anyway i'm healed from that so you're telling me leo that you don't want to get into a situation where you're forced that somebody's somebody's forced to make a change or choose you when you already been there done that with this person this person is a page to you they're like a little kid they're just gonna bring drama and you're good on that you're resting on that but this person is also deceptive but you keep looking back why because there's something just the way this person comes at you in the way they the way they strike you down the way they make you defend yourselves the way they make you work it pushes you in a positive direction and you're curious because in the past Whatever you were chained and bound to, this person did help you overcome it. So part of you is saying, okay, if you're this part, there's two things I'm seeing here, Leo. I'm seeing that you're like, yeah, I know I got to walk away. I know I got to walk away. But there's a part of your heartstrings that's tugged. Like, well, I know what this person went through. I went through it myself. Maybe if I help them shed light on their problems with their situation, maybe they'll realize, you know, help themselves on how to get out of it. Because remember, I told you they're in a situation. They, some of them could be or could have just gotten out of it. 
but they're not healed. And so this is this is somebody that's coming to trauma dump on you, Leo. This is how you feel. But what 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 the universe is trying to tell you is that no, this person will change for you. But this is a this is a lesson for you on choices, Leo, because you you're choosing somebody. You could be choosing to mold someone that's flighty and will give you a headache, but they will manifest into something true for you. Or you could wait for what the universe has for you, something better, and go for that. Okay? The new thing that's more solid from the beginning and gives you the, the praise and recognition you deserve and would cut out anything to be with you and, and immediately sign the papers and be married to you and it's no drama and story. You know? So it's really up to you, Leo, how you want to run that. All right, Leo, so let's see how, you know, they feel about you, okay? Let's see how they feel about you, okay? All right. My Leos, how does this person on Leo's mind that's coming this unrequited love that Leo still has a soft spot for? How does Leo, how do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about my Leos? And switch the roles, how it works for you. If I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about the other person, or yada yada, or someone. Sometimes, guys, I'm just talking about somebody in their energy, too, okay? Or your energy. So, let's see. How does this person... How do they feel about Leo for the sake of this reading? Shattered, damaged, brokenhearted, and destroyed that they did not pursue something with you, and they weren't serious with you the first time, and they're going through a major upheaval in their life, they're going through trouble, they're going through unexpected shock. A lot of them are going through financial troubles um, with that King of Pentacles reverse, or they're going through a divorce, or they're going through some type of stress, and they are feeling like their their mistake is that if they wouldn't have gone through that if it were with you, if they had stayed with you or built a connection with you or trusted you or worked with you, okay, this is a runner and they want this they want a second chance. This is how they feel about you. They want to make amends, okay? They want an opportunity to make plans with you, come visit you, come see you, come to your home. Cause they ghosted, they ran away from the connection, they disappeared and they became invisible. That's what it says. And then they watched. And they're watching you grow, Leo. And again, heart song, longing for you, knowing and telepathy is there, knowing y'all had telepathy with that high priestess and high priest. Do you feel them? They feel you. You know exactly when they're gonna hit you up, and then they do. But maybe they never really say anything. Despair over this third party influence. They're falling apart, they're sinking, and they're hopeless over this dark third party attachment that they chose over you or just whoever was in their life that they never escaped from or they never let go of out of familiarity is now turned toxic. All right, so let's see. How do they feel about my Leos? How does Leo's person in this reading feel about them? Star card, y'all, that's the C to repeat cards. That's why we do two, two different decks. You are the star. You are healing for them. Remember we said that in the beginning? But you're also the best thing they ever had. Best I ever had. King of Cups, that came out again. They're in love with you, Leo. You're, you're, they're in love with you. So when you have the star, anytime you have a cups, that's like star cost love, period. But it's also saying, like, they couldn't, this is cosmic. Like, they feel like this is destiny. Like, I could have never, this is my, in my wildest dreams. I'm so in love with this person and I've never said anything. King of Cups, I've held it to myself. When, when the divine handed me true love, true love, and I did nothing. Ooh, but they're more in love with you than ever. Something about you being a star, like you growing up or, yeah, it's like, look at that. They want to have a child with you, some of them, or they feel like there's so much they learn from you just being around you or your energy. There's so much they learn. They want to learn more. They want to invest. They want to grow. They want to explain something to you. They want a second chance. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Scorpio. Um, they feel like they, the challenge is they have a family now or they see forever with you and they don't know how to tell you. Because that's going from that that's going from the beginning to the end. So this is saying, how do I tell them like when we're just friends or I played around and acted like I friend zone? Because that's straight up friend zoning a star cross off. You crazy right there? You crazy. They 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 friend zone a divine counterpart. And it's this is what this is what spirit is saying. Like, but you could have changed and grown and you could have up leveled to an even more divine type of counterpart now, okay? But at the time when you met this person, they were your divine counterpart and they friend zoned you right here. And they feel like an idiot because it's like now they want to now they want to go from love to marriage, like an offer to marriage or like dating to marriage, like overnight. And they know you're going to be defensive. 
they, they know you're going to want an explanation about maybe this family they've created or this child or just even what happened you know what i mean well you said you just wanted to be friends you said that we just had that kind of friendship but we were you know you didn't want to work together with me yeah there you are leo you're like but now you see me doing good now you see me having all these little opportunities and now you want to come in and so how they're seeing you how they feel about you is that you're dumb attractive you're you're just insatiable um they feel a lot of pressure from the universe to make a decision about you um, they feel like you have new love coming into your life. You're about to be very happy. You're about to be inaccessible. There's all these people that want you that you, they know you turn them down. Um, and they just, they feel like if they could just have an opportunity to make things right with you, could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, could be another, um, Leo or an Aries or a Sag. There's Scorpio again, strong Scorpio in this reading. They're going out of their mind. They're not sleeping well at night. They're thinking about you. You're in their dreams. Cause you got the dream card. You got this masturbation energy. Like almost like they need to talk. They need to think about you to get off. I'm sorry. There's all that drip. Like, so if they're with someone and the, the problem is this relationship they're in, they have to fantasize about you to get, to get their rocks off. It's like that. That's how, that's how bad they got it for you, Leo. Um, they feel like you're about to move into a phase of your life where there's going no turning back with the death card. They're, they feel like the connection is about to be so dead like it's over there's not going to be anything to draw from they're never going to see you again or never be around you because you're just going you're going to you're transforming so rapidly and um they feel like it's in their favor to block you from transforming any further and to explain to you like that you are you know um this star cross energy for them you are a wish for them and hopefully if they know this person see my no talking about i don't like about this person okay i know it's your reading but i don't like they have a connection already, but they're not willing to leave that connection without knowing first if you were going to be with them. Okay, it's like, oh, if Leo takes me back, then I'll do the work to get out of that connection. That's what I said. This person still needs molding. And it's like, do you see? There's the other person right there. Look, I can't, I can't make, it, make it up. They love you, but they're with this other person. Or, you know, they're with this other person, but they're not giving them any aces. They got all their aces are for you. Like, whatever. Like... <laughs> you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying leo okay so how they feel about you is they they have a buttload of emotion for you they're in totally in head crazy head over heels in love with you um they feel a lot of pressure to leave the past behind and just move forward with you the problem is they can't see a future they can't make sense of doing that unless they know for sure um that you will reciprocate this love or you'd be willing to transform with them out of a certain situation into the next situation willing to but they want you to block all love offers you have coming in and wait for them even though you're dynamic and attracting in all these better things or good things right they know they're stressed that you have this that you have this amazing new beginning coming for you that's more solid than they are and they've been holding their feelings back and they've been pretending everything is fine when it's really not they want to come out of that they want to rush in and they want to trap you or or cage you when they still have nothing solid to offer but they feel like their life is crumbling and falling apart because whoever they're dealing with is probably going to take them for a lot of money or they know they have to cut out these habits they have where they attach, attach some people sell some people for material reasons and they feel like a fool for keeping you waiting on the sideline when you were the prize you were the divine counterpart good lord could be an aries i said that already right yeah good lord all right so let's continue <laughs> so how does <laughs> what do we need to know about this connection let's ask this heavenly divine spirit guides what do we need to know about this what does leo need to know travel so somebody might want to travel towards you they're going to come with a proposal. What I say, they're going to go from dating to like, okay, here's this token of my affection. This is a promise ring or here's this thing I want to give you or, you know, take, hold this money for me or let me buy some, pay a bill or let me lock it down real quick so that I'm going to go, I got you and I'm going to go back to my other situation, clean that up and then I'll be back. But they want to, they want to propose that y'all hang out together, be together, but there's some mystery involved. There's too much enigma here. This is what Scorpio, oh, Scorpio, it can't be really be a Scorpio. This is what Spirit is saying. Right, because they they want the, it's like they want they want forever with you. They want marriage. They want a wedding. They want union. They want to propose to you. But in the middle of that, there's too much mystery. It's like well, they don't have all their they don't have it all together. But they want to make sure they like get a taste. Right, hook up with you real quick. Link up. Make sure they lock it down. Some of you they're gonna try to trap you with a child if you're a female. Something to lock you down. I'm telling you because they they see that this is changing. 
Okay, they see that things are changing and they don't like it, Leo. So again, a lot of you, you're, this is not even a Leo situation. This is just what's happening in Leo season. Clarify this travel energy, friendship. So they might say, oh, let's go out as friends. Let's just do the thing, you know. <laughs> I really just want to be around you. I miss our friendship. Okay, clarify a proposal. Because remember, this person never told you how they feel. Meanwhile, they want to trap you. I can't make it up. Look at this. This proposal is a trap. They're going to act like they want to be your friend. Let's be a team. Let's, let's, let's get rid of the distance between us. Remember how we used to be so tight? I can't make this up. Let's clarify the mystery card. Let's see if y'all get this. Make sure y'all can see these. Good. Okay, good. Clarify the mystery card here. That's too many cards. Whew, maybe it's your mystery. Maybe it's your enigma. Maybe it's your... But they have a mystery. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're pride. They're too prideful to own up to the fact. They're, whatever they're keeping, um, keeping silent in their life, it's like they have to maintain their look, their crown. They have to hold their head high. And they don't want to tell you about like the things that have kept them back or the other things they have going on. They're embarrassed. Clarify the, clarify the wedding card the union why do they want a union yeah they want they're going through an ending of a, of a something here they don't want to talk about it they just want to hold for pride and ego's sake they just want you to go along with the changes hook up they feel like it's their right it's their right to hook up with you oh my gosh ceremony it's like you know when you have ceremony but they say in leo have you lived have you learned have you lived have you learned about this you already know you already got this person's number it's saying like look they feel like they have some type of ceremony as ceremony to you. They feel like they have some type of rite of passage to be with you in a casual relationship while they end something or transform some type of thing here. And they want you to remain in mystery or in the background in silence. And they're doing this to trap you so they can close out the distance between you. Interesting. Tell me what my Leos need to tell me what my Leos need to know. They're attracted to your abundance, Leo. They know you're coming into abundance, that big fat ace of coin. So they're gonna come in and try to get intimate with you real quick to secure the bag, to secure you. I'm telling you, it's just saying it over and over again. Because you are a sacred woman. But the protector of women is here. Spirit is protecting you. They just want to show you this. So be careful of starting anything. This person's gonna act real chival chivalrous. Like you are just, they're gonna bring you flowers. They're gonna ask you out. They're gonna try to take you on some elaborate trip or don't fall for it. Let's see what's under there. Yeah, they're gonna act like a divine masculine and you guys are so compatible. This is the perfect connection, but they're telling you, be mature, don't revive this. Look, sexuality reverse. It's like, don't have sex. You're reparent yourself. Okay, you're emotionally free of this now. Do not get involved. So this also tells me you have a better connection coming your way. You have someone better that more compatible coming your way. A lot of you do not fall for it. All right, what else does spirit want us to know about this with Leo? What else should we know? What else should we know? For my Leos or Leo season. Also, it's your birthday. Like, you don't need this on your birthday. Yeah, control. That's it. Somebody want to control you. And they're at a distance. They're just, they just, they're immature. Okay? They're, they could be a pretty, pretty boy, pretty girl. But they still need to grow spiritually. Okay? This is, this would not be beneficial to your spiritual growth. What does this person want Leo to know? Give me three cards. One. Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, they don't want you. They don't want you to get away. They they almost want to bully you, or they feel insecure. They that they ghosted you, and now things are starting to work out you with you, and you're jumping into a new life. And it's like, just please don't leave me behind. I want to come to. I'm I'm changing. I promise. I'll choose. I'll choose better. But it's like they're still juggling. Okay, they're still juggling. They want you to know this because they feel like if they tell you the truth. After they butter you up on a trip or working with you to do something fun and building with you and creating something new with you where you can't grow, you can't get away, that once they ghost you again, you'll still be there. Don't fall for it, Leo. I love y'all. We'll talk soon. Happy birthday. Bye.